Something just entered our solar system, but it didn't knock. It didn't flare or explode. It moved quietly, precisely, and impossibly fast. At first, astronomers thought it was just another icy rock drifting along the edges of deep space. But the more they looked, the more it defied every rule of celestial behavior we know. Now they're calling it Three Atlas, and its final transmission has left scientists frozen. What they found isn't just strange, it, it's impossible. Some experts are already whispering what others are too afraid to say out loud. This object may not be natural. In this video, we'll break down exactly what makes Three Atlas so terrifyingly unique, why its trajectory points directly towards something unnatural, and what the James Webb Space Telescope just picked up that could rewrite our understanding of the universe or reveal we're not alone in it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates about this unfolding cosmic mystery. When 3 Atlas was first spotted in June by the Atlas Observatory, a system designed to detect dangerous objects headed toward Earth, it barely registered as unusual. It was distant, fast and dim. But then something shifted. An amateur astronomer digging through archived data realized this wasn't its first appearance. Older images showed 3 Atlas moving on a hyperbolic trajectory, the unmistakable signature of an interstellar object. Only two other visitors like this had ever been observed, Oumuamua and Borisov. Both stirred global fascination, but this was different. The object's velocity was extreme, over 150,000 tons of MPH, and accelerating in a way that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. That immediately raised red flags among astrophysicists, because non-gravitational acceleration suggests something else is at play. Something that pushes the object from within, like propulsion. Artificial propulsion. The kind you'd expect from a probe. Or worse, a message. To understand why this discovery matters, we have to go back. In 2017, Oumuamua was spotted slicing through the solar system at a sharp angle. It was elongated, silent, and showed no tail, no outgassing like a normal comet. And yet it accelerated. The same Harvard astrophysicist who suggested it could be a probe Avi Loeb is now saying the same about Three Atlas, and unlike Oumuamua, which caught us by surprise and vanished quickly, this new object is still here. It's giving us time to observe it in detail, and what we're finding is deeply unsettling. Despite being nearly four times farther from the Sun than Earth, Three Atlas is unusually bright, too bright. If it were a typical rock, it would have to be massive, 20 kilometers wide, to reflect that much light but it doesn't seem to have the mass. It's reflecting more light than it should, like it's made of something metallic or artificially smooth. And as scientists tracked its motion, they noticed it wasn't behaving like any comet or asteroid. It wasn't spinning chaotically. It wasn't shedding material. It was just moving, now steady, purposeful, almost like it knew where it was going. It wasn't long before researchers called for a deeper look. And who better than the James Webb Space Telescope the most powerful eye we've ever aimed at the cosmos. Scientists requested a rapid analysis using Webb's infrared instruments, hoping to see what this object is truly made of. The results were immediate and bizarre. Three Atlas didn't emit the expected heat signature of a comet or a rocky asteroid. Its temperature was strangely stable, and certain spectra were missing entirely, like materials were either absorbing or shielding infrared emissions. But then came the real shock. The telescope picked up what appeared to be a repeating pattern, not in light, but in the object's faint radio profile. A pulsing anomaly, not regular enough to be a beacon, but not random enough to be noise. Scientists described it as a signature not typically produced by natural interstellar phenomena. It wasn't a signal in the traditional sense, but it was something, yo, something deliberate. No one is saying it directly, but everyone is thinking it. Most interstellar objects swing by the solar system on their way out, a one-time flyby before they vanish forever. But Three Atlas's path is suspicious. Initially, it was headed toward the outer planets, but then it altered slightly but undeniably. Instead of continuing its trajectory outward, it appears to be adjusting, heading toward the inner solar system and, more specifically, toward the Sun. Now that alone might be explained by gravitational slingshot effects, but the timing is off. The calculations don't quite match with natural gravitational curves. Even stranger, its closest encounter with Mars will happen on October 3rd, 2025, 
and its flyby of the Sun on October 23rd will bring it to within twice the Earth-Sun distance. Earth for now will be on the opposite side of the Sun. We're safe for now, but the object's final trajectory will bring it near Earth's orbital path in December 2025, a moment when it will pass by us and then disappear forever. Or so we think, because something about this object's path feels too intentional, like it was never meant to hit us, just get close enough. Close enough to be seen or heard, what the James Webb Telescope picked up wasn't just radio noise or cosmic static. It was structured, irregular but undeniably patterned. Astronomers from two independent labs, one in Japan and another in France, ran spectral deconstructions on the faint signal and found repeating elements. Not in frequency, not in pulse, but in timing. There were intervals between pulses that aligned with mathematical sequences, not random ones, but those found in prime numbers, Fibonacci patterns, and even, shockingly, Earth-based time units. Some intervals aligned almost perfectly with seconds and minutes, suggesting a kind of internal clock, but not our clock. A system calibrated to something else entirely, perhaps even a rotating celestial body we haven't identified. But the most disturbing theory came from a physicist in Prague who proposed that the timing intervals match the orbital resonance ratios of Jupiter's moons. Why would an interstellar object reflect knowledge of our planetary system unless it had encountered it or had been observing it far longer than we ever imagined? As scientists pushed deeper into the anomaly, archival data revealed something even more chilling. The shape of three atlas isn't consistent. In infrared images taken weeks apart, the object appears to shift slightly, not in brightness or orbit, but in structure. It's as if the reflective surface changes orientation. Some speculate it could be due to tumbling, but others aren't so sure. A group from Caltech ran a reconstruction model and suggested the object may not be solid at all, but composed of ultra-thin materials, possibly similar to solar sails, that can subtly adjust to radiation pressure. And if that's true, then what we're looking at may not be a natural interstellar wanderer, but a designed probe. One that can shift surface area to steer. One that doesn't need propulsion, because the stars themselves provide the thrust. And that theory aligns disturbingly well with something else. The object's energy curve behaves as if it was decelerating deliberately as it nears our planetary plane, like something trying not to overshoot. Shortly after the James Webb transmission leak, several observatories went dark. Not literally, but they stopped publishing updates on 3 Atlas. The live tracking page hosted by a major university quietly redirected to a 404 error. A Reddit forum that had been compiling amateur telescope data from around the world was suddenly banned, citing community guideline violations. And a European Space Agency astronomer, who tweeted an image comparison of the radio patterns, deleted her account within hours. This coordinated silence wasn't lost on the public, Journalists tried reaching out to the SETI Institute, only to be told that no comment would be made at this stage. One researcher off-record admitted, We've been told not to speculate, not even off the record. It felt less like a scientific embargo and more like a containment operation. But of what? Can threat a discovery or the first whisper of a contact scenario? Today, 3 Atlas is still out there, slowly adjusting its position, crossing deeper into our solar system like a needle slipping through invisible seams. It is not coming fast. It is not blazing like a comet. It's gliding patiently, precisely, like it knows exactly how to navigate through our cosmic backyard. Based on current projections, it will pass its closest point to Earth's orbital path in December 2025. Not collide, not crash, just pass. Close enough to scan, to listen, or perhaps to release. The idea is not science fiction anymore. It's being discussed quietly in scientific circles, in defense meetings, in late-night sessions behind locked observatory doors. Because what makes this object terrifying isn't that it's coming closer. It's that it hasn't left any trace of where it came from or why it's here. No trail, no birth star, no clear purpose. And yet it's here, watching, waiting, preparing. And now with its final signal sent and its approach locked, we may already be too late to stop whatever comes next.